Hello, my name is Jack Dom and mine will be on actively engaging. I think it's important that we understand what, what it really means to be hands on and mind on. And the best example I can give you is like using the glasses. So if you just look at the glasses and your hands are on it and you're just kind of like fiddling with it, it's one thing, but when you have your mind on and your hands on into anything, either it be a bead or glasses or even like a water bottle you're, you see you, you think so deeply about this little thing you start to look about like oh it says ray-ban it's, it's in metal oh, i never saw this little prints here what does this mean made in italy okay polarized so what is you, you start to really like get deep into this one item but if you're just holding it or or you don't hold it but you just look at it it's just not the same it's it has to be mine and physically hands-on and I think the best way to example give this as an example would be like with toys like for kids playing around with it you know learning is there's so many ways to learn actually you can learn by nonverbal just listening and I think it's both actively training your mind to learn and and as you touch touch these things you learn both ways of actively learning and we're gonna go to the next portion where it involves engaging in active in activity and it's important that we stay or or we stay actively engaging. For example, um, when you have children, they, they're immersed with their adults. You know, they, they get to get direct effort of being controlled by their parents and, and in the process of learning, like what not to do, what to do that's wrong, that's right. They're learning, but they won't learn unless they make the mistakes and then you correct them. Because if they just sit there, they won't learn anything. They have to make mistakes mentally and hands-on. I think that's really important here. It's the way the kids are immersed into whatever the hell they're doing. And I, and then you see the benefits later. After reading this part, I what I gathered, um, and the best way to explain it would be to like imagine a child who is intensely absorbed playing with Legos. He or she is actively Im uh, imagining the, the pieces to fit perfectly in her mind so deeply that she doesn't even hear like the world around her, right? It, she just gets so focused and no matter who calls her name or, or anybody that gets her attention, she just won't be able to listen because she's so deep and focused into the minds on and hands on feature. You know, it's crazy. Like I tend to do this when I play guitar, like I play my, my guitar. I'm just like, people talk and I'm just like, I don't, my phone doesn't matter. Like nothing matters. I am all in. This is a real thing. That's my presentation. Thank you.